Hey, Dirt Farmer Jay here from DirtFarmerJay.com. Dust control in the maker space is really important. And if you don't have a full cyclone with a dust extraction system, a good place to start is a shop vac but you gotta make it even better using a Cyclone. Let me tell you about a great solution that we purchase and we make use of all the time here in our shop. Hey, Dirt Farmer Jay here from DirtFarmerJay.com. If you're like me, you have a shop vac in your maker space, and these are great tools for controlling dust, picking up stuff out of cracks and crevices. The problem is a shop vac by itself gets really filled up fast with whatever it is you're vacuuming up, If it, like for instance, sawdust or wood chips, and that, also leads to the filter getting clogged very quickly. Well, there's a great solution that we purchased over five years ago, Oneida Air Systems uh, mini cyclone called the Dust Deputy. Now we're gonna show you how this works and I want you to see something right off to begin with. This shop vac on this fixture has been in place, oh, the last time I cleaned it out was about two years ago and I've used a lot of, um, or used it for a lot of vacuuming up of uh, wood chips, sawdust, just general shop debris, all sorts of things. So let's see how much of that made it through to the canister inside after it went through the little cyclone. Well, let's take a look. That's it, my friends. That's all that's gotten through there is that amount. Now you can see here the filter uh, has gotten a lot of fine dust, but it's still usable. And what I can do is get that cleaned out or I can put a new filter in, but two years of use and this is as dirty as the filter is, I bet you I can get more use out of that. So you can see there's a real advantage to pre uh, filtering out all the major debris and a lot of the particulates before it hits your vacuum. Now let's put this into use and let you see the cyclonic action and how it really works. All right, before we vacuum up this pile of sawdust, I'm gonna show you very quickly how this works so you understand what's happening here. This is the vacuum inlet that goes to the shop vac. So air is being, pull being pulled out of this unit, out of the top and the vacuum inlet is perpendicular and in a circular fashion to this. So it's 90 degrees. So as I vacuum up debris, it's introduced into this tapered cyclone chamber at 90 degrees to the exhaust going into the vacuum unit. And you'll see here as we vacuum, you'll see a tornado form right here where the cyclone and uh, centrifugal force is actually taking the matter, putting it against the smooth sides of this uh, taper unit and then dropping into the bucket and very clean air is coming out of the top. Uh, it's estimated that the cyclone takes out between 95 and 98 to 90%, 99% of the material before it hits the vacuum. All right, let's just put it to use and you can see for yourself how it's working. Okay, we vacuumed up the floor here. All that debris is gone. And let's see how, where it went and how it worked. You saw the cyclone here. We'll go ahead and pull out the bucket. There's the material right there. Now, how much of it made it in to the vacuum from that big old pile of fine sawdust? Here we go. almost nothing. 
As a matter of fact, imperceptible from what it was before. We'll clean this in the future, but as you can see, again, very uh, little makes it into this. So this really, really works well. Now, if you're looking at this unit that we built, I need to give credit where credit is due. First of all, this unit came from Oneida Air. You'll find that information in the description below where you can get that. No, there's no commission. We just found a great solution we wanna pass on to you. And if you like this combo cart, this came from Woodsmith Shop Notes, and there's also a link for their plans below. We think you really enjoy having this in your shop, and we've kind of made it into a cleanup station with a broom and the accessories and everything there. Another great scale to have in the maker shop is flawlessly applying spray can finishes, whether it's lacquer, paint, or varnish. You can get a beautiful finish. Check out this video where I'll walk you through several great insider tips to get the results you desire. And while you're at it, check out this other video from our catalog that YouTube thinks is just perfect for you. We think so too. Hey, until the next time, this is Dirt Farmer Jay from DirtFarmerJay.com.